Hi dear student. Uh, today we are going for one of the important concept uh, that is how to calculate the number of bond pairs and number of lone pair of electrons in the molecule. Uh, I am discussing this concept uh, uh, because this concept is very important. Uh, they are asking every year on questions in your NEET, CET or go for the K-set examination. Those who are going to prepare for lectureship, K-set examinations and NET examinations. Therefore, this concept is very important. Uh, well, uh, from this uh, basic fundamental only, we are going to uh, study the uh, structure, hybridization of a molecule. Without knowing the lone pair and bond pair, it is very difficult to define or know the uh, hybridization of the molecule. Therefore, uh, if we understand the one of the very biggest concept, hybridization, that uh, before that uh, fundamental concept, lone pair, bo bond pair of an electron calculation is very important. And we are going for the neat, neat examination. Those who are going for medical, after PUC, their neat examination, they are asking, uh, they are giving one molecule, for example, one uh, ammonia, NH3, uh, calculate the how many number of bond pairs and lone pair of electron is present. Such the questions they are asking. That's why, uh, after this uh, video only, I will make the one of the next videos, hybridization concept, how to find the hybridization of the molecules and also shape of a molecule. That's why, first, uh, this concept understanding is very important. Uh, how to calculate the number of bond pairs and lone pair of an electron. It's very easy. Uh, you go for that uh, uh, molecule first what is before going to how to calculation but uh, we have to understand the concept uh, for example uh, a methane a methane containing how many number of bond pairs or lone pairs you see here but uh, we first you see compound a methane in methane carbon is a central atom carbon is a central atom it has four valency four uh, valency next hydrogen having one valency electron Hydrogen having one valency electron, therefore four hydrogens make the bond with four carbon atom. Four carbon atom. Therefore, this is called one bond pair. Then this is one bond pair. One bond pair. One bond. The carbon outermost all electrons involved in the bond formation. The carbon outermost four electrons all involved in the bond formation. Therefore, it forms the four bond. Therefore, it having four bond pair of an electron. Four bond pair of an electron what is mean by bond pair bond pair means it is simply that the number of electrons involved in the bond formation number of electrons involved in the bond formation they are called as bond pair of an electron next uh, simple go for the ammonia i will go for one more example ammonia ammonia having how many number of bond pairs number of bonds equal to that you see there are four bonds there are four bond pair here three bonds are there there are three bond means there are three bond pair of an electron it's very simple yes. number of bonds equal to that much of equal to number of bond pair of an electron next what is mean by lone pair of an electron concept to go for the what is mean by lone pair this is what lone pair next turn we are going for the lone pair of an electron what is mean by lone pair of an electron lone you see here this is what ammonia it is having three bond pair three bond pair and next one lone pair of electron is there. You go for the VSCPR structure. We are studying the structure of molecule, VSCPR theory and MOT theory. There are so many theory will comes to explain the uh, uh, this uh, lone pair of electron. Well, lone pair of electron is simply that these electrons not at all involved in the bond formation. They are free electron. They are a free electron. They are free electron. They are not involved in the bond formation. They are uh, occupying the molecule or central atom atom they are called as lone pair of an electron no lone pair of electron means they are not involved in the uh, bond formation for example one more you have to take water the water the water having two lone pairs the water having two lone pairs therefore in your examination they are giving molecule methane the ammonia how many number of bond pair lone pair they are asking there are three bonds three bond pairs and one lone pair is there one lone pair of an water Having two bond pair, two lone pair of an electron, dear students. I think I hope everyone can understand. That's why I am making one video how to calculate the number of bond pairs and lone pair of any molecule. I am taking some of the molecules, for example, I am solving here only. Uh, you have to solve plenty of problems. I will give the trick how to calculate the bond pairs, lone pairs. That's right. Okay. I think I hope everyone can know the uh, bond pair and lone pair right now. Okay, go for whenever you are solving or uh, learning the chemistry, 
ದ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅವಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಮ್ದು ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತೈತಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಮೆನಿ ಸಾಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ತರೋಲಿ ಈಚ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಫೈಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಹೌ ಹೌ ಟು ನೋ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರನ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟಮ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಔಟರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರನ್ ಔಟರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಔಟರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ಕಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ವೈ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಒನ್ this one means this hydrogen having outer only one valence electron they are called as monovalent i'll write here this hydrogen hydrogen is monovalent monovalent therefore it one electron these are carbon electron they are hydrogen therefore they are bond formation there are how many bonds here therefore there are four bond pairs but there is no lone pair zero lone pairs zero lone pairs you saw when go, go through the example then only you are interested next ammonia next we go for the ammonia nitrogen nitrogen is 15th group element 15th group element means it has valence electron how much 5 it has 5 valence electron there are three hydrogen there are three hydrogen binds with this one that's right but here two electrons are left these two electrons are called as one lone pair one lone pair therefore in ammonia how many bond pairs there are you see here these are the nitrogen 5 electron these hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen and one hydrogen these three bonds are formed but one lone pair therefore ammonia having three bond pairs so one lone pair of an electron one lone pair of an electron so all the many problems then only understanding these things so2 next we are going for the so2 what is this so2 structure that is very important you see here this so2 the sulfur is 16th group therefore go for the 6 stars 6 star here oxygen here hydrogen monovalent oxygen is a bivalent bivalent therefore two electrons take and forms one bond again two electrons take one bond but this is one lone pair here you say two electron take one bond means this is only one bond pair one bond pair one bond pair two bond pairs therefore sulfur dioxide is two bond pairs plus one lone pair you see here before the examples the only one electron take one bond formation but oxygen take two electron to make one one uh, bond pair therefore this is one bond pair this is one bond pair and this is one lone pair therefore sulfur dioxide two bond pairs one lone pair of an electron there so next uh, we are going for the o3 o3 means structure like this o o oxygen is the one of the oxygen is central one of the oxygen central means oxygen is 16th group again 16th group
सिंपली ऑक्सीजन इज सेंट्रल ऑक्सीजन सेंट्रल मीन सिक्स वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन दीज आर सिक्स वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन टू हाइड्रोजन आर देर देर आर टू हाइड्रोजन माइक द बॉन्ड्स एंड नेक्स्ट देर आर फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन देर आर टू टू लोन पेस्ट देर फोर दिस वाटर हैविंग टू बॉन्ड पेस्ट प्लस टू लोन पेर ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू लोन पेर ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन सॉल्व मेनी प्रॉब्लम सल्फर आई थिंक एस एफ फोर एस एफ फोर सल्फर टेटाफ्लोराइड सल्फर मीन देर आर आउटर मोस्ट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन फोर फ्लोरिन मीन दिस फ्लोरिन ऑल हेलोजन आर हेविंग मोनोवेलेंट मोनोवेलेंट हाउ टू नो दिस मोनोवेलेंट मीन सल्फर हेविंग सेवेंटीन इट है एडिंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन मीन इट इज गोइंग टू अटेन द ऑप्टेट देर फोर इट इज मोनोवेलेंट वेलेंसी वन देर फोर 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 इलेक्ट फोर फ्लोरिन बॉन्ड नेक्स्ट दिस इज वन देर फोर एस एस एफ फोर इज हेविंग फोर बॉन्ड पेयर फोर बॉन्ड पेयर एंड वन लोन पेयर ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन लोन पेर ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन नेक्स्ट गो फॉर दी सी एल एफ थ्री सी एल एफ थ्री सिंपली दैट दिस हेलोजन इज सेंट्रल हेलोजन मीन्स मीन्स सेवनटीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट सेवनटीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट मीन सेवन वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन देर फोर इट हैविंग सेवन वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इट हैविंग सेवन वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन देर आर थ्री फ्लोरिंग वन फ्लोरिंग वन फ्लोरिंग वन मोर फ्लोरिंग and this is what lone pair and this is again lone pair therefore this clf3 having three bond pairs three bond pair plus two lone pair of an electron three bond pair and two lone pair of an electron yes sir next uh, we are going for the uh, this is clf3 is over next uh, brfi same like this next uh, xcf4 xenon tetrafluoride xenon tetra fluoride xenon means 18th group element dear students 18th group means 10 18 minus 10 it gives us to 8 therefore xenon having outermost 8 electron outermost 8 electron 8 electron there are four fluorine are there there are four fluorine atoms four fluorine therefore there are four electron they are called for form two lone pair therefore xenon tetrafluoride forms four bond pairs plus two lone pair of an electron four bond pairs and two lone pair of an electron the next uh, go for we were following many examples then only we are going to understand the concept yes students next uh, beryllium this is what a uh, beryllium chloride a beryllium outermost electrons only two electrons two electrons there are two chlorines are there there are seven therefore it forms only two bond pairs plus zero lone pair zero lone pair only two bond pairs are there next uh, we are going for the bf3 is see here see dear students bf3 this boron having outermost three valence electron dear students 13th group element fluorine is there therefore there are three fluorine atom binds the pair therefore there are it has three bond pairs plus zero lone pair of an electron dear students so next one Uh, you see here, this is what I will go for one of the very important PCl5 and next to PCl3, PCl5 and PCl3. What is this PCl5, PCl3? See, a phosphorus means 15 group element in both the side. Therefore, outermost of five valence electron. Here also five valence electron. Here five chlorine. Therefore, these all electrons involved in the bond formation. But here only three chlorine. Therefore, there are three chlorine for there here. But two electron means they are forming one bond pair. Therefore, PCl5 having five bond pairs plus zero lone pair. But here it having three bond pairs, one lone pair of an electron. One lone pair of an electron is formed. That is that's why you have to. Understand these concepts perfectly. That's why they are asking in examination this special by special. How many bond pairs, lone pairs they are asking question. Just again, after if you understand this one, uh, it's very simple that uh, uh, judge the, uh, the hybridization of a molecule. It's very easy to tell the hybridization of a molecule. If you know, if you don't know this concept, it is very difficult to know the uh, tell the hybridization. Okay, mm, after that, still so far we have learned only um, we have learned. Uh, neutral molecule. Go for the some charged molecule. For example, ammonia. 
ammonium ion it is nh4 plus means ammonium ion how what is the uh, how many number of lone pair bond pair in ammonium they are asking the question you see here whenever charge positive charge positive means we have to remove electron remove electron from central atom from a central atom central atom you see here nitrogen is having 15th group 15th group means it have five electron right in that so we have to write first five electron five electron one positive charge means we have to remove one electron this positive charge means we have to remove the electrons in the central atom therefore we removed one electron uh, therefore four hydrogen therefore four hydrogen are formed and therefore it this ammonium i am having four bond pairs plus zero lone pair of an electron there next so go for the there are so many examples are there this pcl4 plus pcl4 plus pcl4 this here phosphorus having four this is again 15th group element 15th group element one positive charge means you have to remove you see here this is 15th group means five electron if you remove one electron this is four there are chlor four chlorine are there four chlorine bond for therefore four bond pairs Four bond pairs plus zero lone pairs electrons. Next, uh, go for the H three O plus hydronium ion. H three O plus here oxygen is central. Oxygen central means there are six valence electron. There are a uh, six valence electron. In this six electrons, here one positive charge means we have to remove one positive one uh, uh, electron. There are three hydrogen. There are three hydrogen are there here, and next there are one lone pair. Therefore, this ammonium water, hydronium ion. This hydronium I have an uh, hydronium ion. H three O plus means hydronium ion. There are three bond pairs plus one uh, lone pair here, students. One uh, lone pair. Next, uh, this is what uh, very simple. Next, uh, I three minus. I three minus means this is having I, and there are three iodine are there. Here iodine central atom. Iodine central atom. You see here. I, first I will discuss I three plus. I three plus. There are iodine central atom means iodine seventeen group element. Seventeen group element. First we have to write seven valence electron. Seven valence electron. One positive charge means we have to remove one valence electron. There are two iodine. Therefore one iodine. One more iodine. Therefore this having this I three plus is having two bond pairs plus. Two lone pair students. Next, uh, still so far we have learned a uh, uh, positively charged molecule. Next, we go for the one of the uh, negatively charged molecule. That is first I will take I three minus I three minus negative. Whenever negative charge molecule is there, negative charge molecule is there. Add one elect uh, add electrons add electron to the central atom to the Central atom. For example, I three plus means I three minus means this iodine iodine. This is the total iodine structure. This is one iodine central means they are having iodine always means seven valence electron. They are just right. three six seven. Whenever one negative charge means one more add electron. If you add electron, there are two iodines are there here bond formation. Therefore, one bond formation, one more bond formation. This is lone pair. Again lone pair. Again lone pair. Therefore, this having two bond pairs plus three lone pair dear students. Next, next we go for the uh, this PCl six plus PCl six minus. Here, phosphorus means how many? Phosphorus, fifteenth group element, outermost five electron. Therefore, it having five electron. One negative charge means go for addition of one more negative electron. There are six chlorine means there are six chlorine atoms. Therefore, there are six bond pair. Therefore, there are six bond pairs plus zero lone pair here, students. I think I hope everyone can understand. Whenever negative charge molecule, we have to add one more electron to the central atom. For example, phosphorus five, five electron. Next, one more extra because it will be negatively charged. 
next the class time will go for the one more CLF4 minus CL means how much 70 therefore 7 electron 3 6 7 negative charge means one more next four fluorines are there there are four fluorine atoms there are four fluorine atoms therefore there are two therefore there are four bond pairs and plus two lone pair I think uh, I hope everyone can solve easily how to calculate the number of bond pairs lone pairs one thing here dear students in this concept you first know the periodic table elements then only very easily answer the any type of question any type of molecule for example if you don't know phosphorus which group element means it is very difficult to uh, tell the valence electron phosphorus you have to mum this at least you have to remember 13 14 15 15 16 17 group minimum you have to remember for example phosphorus you don't know 15 group elements means the outermost five electrons if you don't know iodine which group element means it is very difficult therefore in this session i will tell you at least you have to remember the predictable elements iodine means 17 group elements such elements i, I think i hope everyone can remember easily this central atom if for example central atom nimi yavudu yav one table yav one column dali bartaiti eshtu ne group nege bartano gotta idu andre mugidre idu bahala easy yav group nege bartaiti and for example nimu gottilla na simple aga one helthini iga ee water aithe water central atom 16th group element at nimu gottirbeku oxygen 16th group nege gottaiti andre outermost 6 electrons iruthu atan therefore 6 electron nege 6 star hakli Six star. There are two hydrogens also. There are two hydrogens also. Two hydrogens also. Therefore, there are two lone pairs. It is very simple, right? Adikale, I draw again. How to answer? I'll conclude that you, e bond pairs, lone pair, can be done. Because in the central atom, yao group pair birth to them. You have to do it. Very help out. Easy to manage. You have to save the times in your examination. Okay. After this video, I will tell you how to uh, know the hybridization of a molecule. Because after learning this, they are asking you see you take any exam paper question, the previous exam question paper, they are asking one compulsory question how to find the number of bond pair, lone pair, or hybridization of molecule, or shape of a molecule. If you know this, these those two are very easy. That uh, hybridization as well as shape of molecule. I will tell you that. Don't worry. Please share and subscribe my channel. I will tell you all easiest methods. Those who are going for the uh, neat examinations. Neat examinations or K set examinations or whatever it examination, whatever I know, I will tell you. Um, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.